In this example, we're going to look at a paired sample sign test. Let's take a look at the question. To measure the effectiveness of a drug for asthmatic relief, 12 subjects, all susceptible to asthma, were administered the drug after one asthma attack and the placebo after a second asthma attack. One hour after the attack, an asthmatic index was obtained on each subject with the following results. Making no assumptions regarding the distribution of these data, investigate the claim that the drug significantly reduces the asthmatic index using a sign test at the 5% significance level. Notice this question specifies to use a sign test, but doesn't remind you that it's a paired sign test. So by looking at the data, we can see each of the 12 subjects has a pair of data values, one for the drug, and one for the placebo. As with all hypothesis tests, we need to follow the six steps. Write out our hypotheses, state if it is one or two tailed and the significance level, calculate the test statistic, find the critical region and compare them and conclude. So let's start with our hypotheses. For the paired sample hypothesis, we need a H0 and a H1, a null and an alternative hypothesis. And because we're looking at pairs of data rather than a single value, we're looking at E to D. So eta is the Greek, <laughs> N is the Greek letter eta, which represents the population average, and E to D is the population average difference. So you can write out population average difference, but E to D will suffice. And because H0 is always asking us for nothing is different, everything has stayed the same, we're going to say that that difference is equal to zero. And therefore, my alternative to that, um, because this question is looking for a reduction in the asthmatic index, so that drug is better than the placebo, it reduces that asthmatic index, we're looking for the drug values being less than placebo, and therefore the inequality becomes drug minus placebo less than zero. So my difference is less than zero. Then to look if it's one or two tailed, obviously we start with our alternative hypothesis, e to d is less than zero. So we're just looking at the one tail. And in the question, it states it is a 5% significance level. Then calculating the test statistic. So with a sign test, we compared each value to the stated population average. But with this one, we're comparing the difference to zero. So in my hypothesis, I wrote down that we were doing drug takeaway placebo. So I'm going to use that subtraction in um, my test statistic. So the first step is we have to calculate the signed difference for each pair of data. And I said I'm doing drug takeaway placebo. So that's going to give me my negative 4, negative 2, negative 6 negative 8, negative 3, negative 5, positive 3, 0, negative 1, oh, didn't mean to do that, positive 2, negative 2, and negative 7. And then the reason I have crossed out subject 8 is because they have a difference of 0. And just like with my sign test, if I have a difference of 0, I cannot use that to help me establish the significance of this data because it's neither above nor below so I discount subject 8. Then I count the number of positive and negative signs so looking at my data values there if I just see the signs I've got I've got two positives and nine negatives and those are my test statistics so two positives and nine negatives. So for my critical region, this is the one where I need to use my um, binomial distribution. I say if H0 is true, then the probability of the difference being above or below zero are equal and therefore they are a half. So I can use a binomial distribution with n as 11 because I've eliminated subject number eight and a probability of a half because of the previous statement. So if I just use my calculator to get some probabilities using that binomial distribution, um, 
I can see that the probability of it being less than or equal to 0 or greater than or equal to 11 is 0 0.00048 or 4.8 times 10 to the minus 4. And I can do that for the first few probabilities. I could do all of them, but I don't need to. My critical value, sorry, my significance level for this question was 5% 0 0.05. So my critical region will be any probabilities that have a value less than 0 0.05. So looking at those probabilities on the right hand side, I can see that 0 0.05 is somewhere in between 0 0.0327 and 0 0.1132. So my critical region is anything less than or equal to 2 or anything greater than or equal to 9 because those three probabilities below that red line, or sorry, above that, bed, uh, red, that red line are less than 0 0.05. So to compare and conclude, if I draw my line from 0 to 11 and I put those two critical values on there, my critical regions are those shaded areas less than or equal to 2 or greater than or equal to 9. And just looking back at my data and my two test statistics that I calculated, they were 2 and 9 as well. So because they lie in that critical region, we are rejecting H0. So what does that mean in context? So just reminding ourselves of the question, it said making no assumptions regarding the distribution, investigate the claim that the drug significantly reduces the asthmatic index. So we have rejected H0 and H0 was that there was no difference. So we are rejecting that. So there is some sort of difference and our H1 was looking at the drug being less than the placebo and reducing that asthmatic index. So we're kind of going towards that theory. Therefore, there is significant evidence to support the claim that the drug significantly reduces the asthmatic index.